having sex with multiple women for validation of your self-confidence makes you a weak man. Right. Mm. Okay? There's a lot of men that be trying to have sex with a lot of women just for validation, and he's weak, he's insecure, and he really needs to do some soul searching to understand where his values are and his core values are. You know what I'm saying? Picky it's slippery slope. Picky but picky but, but what I'm saying is having Little sex picky. with women because you just desire and you truly have that appetite is different. They're have you like ever you have you ever given a to do have, you, have you ever given a high five to a, a, a homeboy who recently fucked a new girl? All the time. <laughs> then you're part of the problem. But What's good, YouTube? This is KB LaFleur. You can call me KB. Welcome back to another video, man. We got tonight's conversation, but before we get into that, do me a huge favor, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and leave me a subscribe. So today's topic, right? We got. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a small video, but today's topic is: Is this true about men sleeping with women? Men sleeping with a lot of women for validation. Do y'all feel like that man is weak? Do y'all feel like any man who has to sleep with the tons and tons and tons of women for validation? Do y'all feel like that's weak? Do y'all feel that's bad? I'm iffy about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm iffy about it. I can go both ways. I can say it is weak, but I also can say, you know what, hey, here's a reason why it's why it wouldn't be weak. But let's go ahead and just watch this video and let's go ahead and have this conversation. Having sex with multiple women for validation of your self-confidence makes you a weak man. Right. Mm. Okay? There's a lot of men that be trying to have sex with a lot of women just for validation, and he's weak. He's insecure and he really needs to do some soul searching to understand where his values are and his core values are. You know what I'm saying? It's slippery slope. But, 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 but what I'm saying is having sex man. with women because you just desire and you truly have that appetite is different. They're have you like ever have you ever given a, to do have, you, have you ever given a high five to a, a, a homeboy mm -hmm. who recently fucked a new girl? All the time. <laughs> then you're part of the problem. But, but I don't know. But I, but the thing is, I don't know his. I don't know his intentions. I'm his intentions you know was your high intentions. five, no, bro. No, 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 boy. But if I high five him, am I high fiving him because Ooh. you knocked her down, or is it because I know you liked her and you're because did you're the seeking thing. validation from? I'm in my mind. I'm not. You're people pleasing. Yeah, well, not people. You know. I no. just want to say. To this very day, to this very day, when my homeboys man sit over here and say, "Yo, man, I didn't, I didn't." You know, I, know, I was able to, man, get this girl in my room. I was able to do what I got to go do. Yeah, I'm dapping him up. I'm giving homeboy, a hey, props because he smashed a girl. Because he smashed a girl. Now, is he doing that, man, for validation? Nah, a lot, some of my homeboys, some of my homeboys, there is times where we just, where we go out here and pick girls, man, just to have sex with, right? We do this all the time in high, we do this all the time in college, right? For, for a lot of men that I know sit over here and have sex with girls just because, you know, hey, we're looking for a nut. It's a squirrel looking for a nut. But I also can't agree that we do have men, right? A lot of my homeboys too. Once again, I do got some. I do got some homeboys, man, that run through women, right? They look for validation. These dudes try to smash the top-notch girls, right? The, the popular girls, the most, the, the girls that are very beautiful. They go for women like that. And to me, yes, that's validation, right? Because a lot of these guys smash these girls for validations because they sit up here. And they say, man, yeah, but look at the damn girls I be smashing. Look at the hoes I be running up on. I can understand how that would be, yeah, man, you're just, you're having sex with these girls for validation. Whereas you have guys like me, or you have guys like uh, like some, some of your other average guys. They don't really care, man. They don't really care too much for what the girl look like, right? Now, I'm not sitting over here saying, man, you know, the girl got to be, you know, the girl could be, you know, looking like some dirt, you know, and I'm gonna try to sit over here and beat him. But what I am saying is, I'm not going to be so concerned about, you know, is, is this girl, man, the most popular girl? Is this girl, man, is she is she on a scale of a nine or 10? No. If I'm out here trying to look to have a good night, I'm trying to find any girl, man, I'm trying to find a girl that is going to be good for me for that night, If whoever I'm attracted to, right? She could be a freaking five, she could be a six, she could be a seven. Right, but I'm not there. But I'm not there to get her and then go back and go back to my homeboys and oh yeah, man, hell yeah, I done beat her, man, I done did this, I done did that. There is times where I may have sex with a girl or any, or any of us at that have sex with a damn girl. We will come back and talk about it. Of course, have something to talk about. Number one and number two, man, yeah, man. Like prime example, when I used to do it, 
sit over here, have sex with a girl. Go back to my homeboys and we'll say, yeah, I'll tell them, yeah, man, you know, man, it was good. It was this, it was that. Yeah, bro, describe it to me, right? Because it would be the same thing that women do when they go out here and have sex, right? And go mess with a man and they call the homegirl up. Girl, guess what I just did? Girl, guess who I was just with? So let me ask for you women, would that be, would that be considered validation? If y'all say, you know what, hey, I done went out here and slept with this man or whatever, and you call up your best friend and you start talking to your best friend about the man that you didn't uh, lay down with, that you didn't have sex with, that you didn't kick it with, that you've probably been talking to for a while. Would that be you? Would that be you trying to get validation? So it would be this. So I would say, in a sense, it would be the same thing. Where as a guy who comes out here who have sex with a woman, he goes back and go tell his friends. I wouldn't say that would be him trying to get validation. But there are guys, like I said, I, I know firsthand, a lot of my homeboys be sitting over here talking about they got 50 bodies over the summer. They talking about they didn't have, they didn't slept with this and this, 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 this woman. Yes, that's for validation. In my opinion, that was for validation because a lot of these guys sit over here, they, they make they make that a basis of their argument sometimes. In college, right? I'm sitting over here, of course, you're around, I'm around a bunch of brothers. You're sitting over here, man, you're arguing or whatever, going back and forth. They'll sit up here and bring, but I get more holes than you. Bro, man, look at all of them bitches I'm fucking. I can show you the holes that I'm fucking. They beautiful as hell, blah, blah, blah. It's all about, man, how the women look, how many bodies they have. So I will say, man, at a certain age, at a certain age for men, how many, how many women you have sex with and the type of and the type of women you have sex with will be for validation. It will be a point, it will be a point of art of an argument. So I would say, man, how many women you have sex with and the type of woman you have sex with will be the top of the list for a lot of your guys at that time. Now, I said when you get older, right? When you get in your 30s, when you get in your 40s, I don't think that is much of a concern or a much of a much of an issue, right? I don't think men really are worried about that. As I'm getting older, right? Your appetite to be able to, your appetite to go out here and mess with certain girls and then go back into your homeboys, it's not even there. You just kind of just get what you want to get and keep it moving. So, I mean, like I said, I understand where, I understand where he's coming from and I understand uh, where the other guy's coming from. He's saying, man, listen, you know, when you sit over here and dab your homeboy up, that's validation. So, you know, it's kind of hard, but like I said, for me, Personally, sometimes guys do sit over here and try to smash girls just to sit over here and tell their homeboys, yeah, but this is the girl I smashed because I thought I fell victim to it. Yes, plenty of times I fell victim to it. Sit up here, smash a girl, tell one of my homeboys, and these would be one of my homeboys, man, that's smashing top-notch girls. That be smashing girls, man, that's popular as hell that I wouldn't even think to go to, man, because I'm like, uh, I ain't trying to waste my time with them too. Far too many guys don't want them, right? And I'm also the type of guy that I'm a lover boy. Back in high school, I didn't sleep around with any and every chick in the school, right? I had my select few women that I always that I was that I was always with, right? Because, you know, I to me I to me sleeping around and you know trying to smash every single girl. I to me personally, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I personally can't do that. A guy sleeping around, messing around with a bunch of women every single time, like who make who make who make it a mission to smash as many women as they can. To me. That's just far too, it, it, it's time consuming. And then on top of that, all of these girls that you out here running through, you build up a bad name to some degree. You, you, you can build up a bad name to some degree. And then on top of that, man, this is just me. Out of all the girls, man, that my homeboys was messing with, I'm talking about the ones that was out here getting around, two of my homeboys caught some stuff. Two of my homeboys caught some stuff. So that's another reason why I say, man, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not interested in just sleeping around with any and every chick. You have these guys, who would sit up here, mess with these women all the time, all the time, all the time. And you just got, you just ask why, what's the purpose, right? So when they go out here, you catch diseases, mess around with all these damn women. You might pick the wrong chick to mess around with. You might pick the wrong chick to mess around with. One of my homeboys is about to get in a fight with a girl, right? And this dude was out here messing with chicks on top of chicks on top of chicks. It's the type of women that you're messing with. And these guys don't care what type of women that they're messing with. As long as they're beautiful and as long as they look a certain way, as long as they have a certain status, they're going to try to smash them so they can say, hey, I got this chick on my list. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, that's, that's like my, that's a trophy. A lot of my homeboys say, man, some of these girls, some of these girls that used to go to our school are trophies. 
Yeah, if I bat, if I smash your boy, hey, I mean, I'm getting hella cool points. So I mean, I get it, you know. Um, but I wouldn't say, man, it, I wouldn't say it makes him a weak man. I, I would definitely want to say, you know, a guy wanting to smash all the damn girls just for validation makes him a weak man. For, once again, right? I had a whole video. Before, I had a whole video earlier. If y'all understand that a lot of you guys have sex, man, because we don't have access to sex like that. You know, a lot of women might not agree with it, but for amongst guys. Generally speaking, when guys sit over here and get all the coochie in the world, they have some type of value to some degree. To some degree, they have some type of value. So, yes, yeah, so, so a lot of guys look at, you know, having sex with a lot of women as a way of saying, you know, hey, I'm accomplished or I've accomplished something. Whatever it could be, I'm accomplished or I've accomplished something. But, you know, me personally, like I said, I, you know, I don't go out here and go smash every single chick just for, for validation, right? I will say I was peer pressured. I fell victim to that. Why do I say I fall victim to that? It's because, like I said, a lot of my a lot of my homeboys will sit up, they like they they made they made it they made it <laughs> they made it a game. They made it a competition. Who can smash the most girls? Who can get the most girls? You know, and so I try to be around that. You know, I'm trying to do the same thing, but I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person. A lot of these guys may get some get some of the baddest of, baddest of women. And I'm just sitting on here like, what? Some of these girls, man, I would be cuffing. Let, let's be real. I would be cuffing some of these girls because I'm that type of person. I, I, I don't I don't want to waste my time. You're spending all that money. You're spending all that time talking to six, seven, eight different damn girls, spending all that money. And plus, at the time, Negroes ain't even had that type of money to be sitting over here spending on a bunch of women. So my thing was... Find somebody, man, that I can constantly be around. Be around. So find somebody, man, that I can be with. Right? Let's go ahead and start working on the future then. So you got to work. So I, that, was some, that was my main focus. Find a girl that compliments you. Right? Now, you want to go ahead and, you know, dribble with some other little women? I do whatever. But my main goal was find the girl that best compliments me. So, you know, so, you know, like I said, you know, they make, they make some great points. They make some great points. You can go both ways. I understand, I understand both of them. I understand. I mainly understand the brother with the dress, but you know, so y'all do me a huge favor, man. Leave me a like, leave me a comment and leave me a subscribe.